Hi, today we're going to be looking at the salaries of registered counsellors, psychometrists and psychologists in South Africa. I'm Manitan Ryan, a medical doctor with more than 20 years of experience in the healthcare industry. So join me now as we look at the salaries in the public sector of these categories of staff. To work in South Africa as a registered counsellor, psychometrist or psychologist, you will have to be registered with the Health Professions Council of South Africa. As a psychologist, you can either practice clinical psychology, counselling psychology, educational psychology, industrial psychology, research, neuro and forensic psychology. Once you're registered with the Health Professions Council of South Africa, you can either work in the public or private sector depending on your registration status. In the public sector, the salary is based on the Occupational Specific Dispensation, which was negotiated in 2011. So let's go ahead now and look at it. As a registered counsellor and a psychometrist, the grading is quite similar. Here, you'd need no experience to be a counsellor or a psychometrist to take on a grade 1 position. As a grade 2 position, you'd need 8 years of experience. And as a grade 3, you should have completed 16 years of experience. You can also take up a Chief Counselor Grade 1 or a Deputy Director Counseling Grade 1 or a Chief Psychometrist or a Deputy Director Psychometric Services Grade 1 as promotion posts. As a psychologist, you first will have to complete your internship, then community service, and then take on a position as a Psychologist Grade 1, 2 or 3. The Principal Psychologist and Chief Psychologist are supervisory positions. So let's look at the salaries now. The salary we are looking at is based on the rural allowances and the total cost to employer package. We're looking at the 2019 and 2020. The rural allowances or inhospitable allowances depends on the area your institute is situated in. If you work in a district within a province that is designated rural, you would get a rural allowance of 17%. If you work in an institute that is designated inhospitable, you'd get a 12% rural allowance on your basic salary. Let's now look at the salaries. Your salary is based on the total cost to employer package, and which means that 70% of this constitute your basic salary and the other 30% will be structured. I have more information on this in my first video on salaries on the medical interns if you want more information please click on this video on on the top or I've also put a link in the description below the total cost to employer package for the council grade ones is 579,147 for council grade 2 or psychometrist grade 2 it's 672,117 rands your net salary after paying your pension and after paying taxes is 32,365 and 36,129. As a counselor at grade three, after 16 years, you now will earn 750,024 Rand. After taxes and pension, your net salary is 39,953. As a chief counselor grade one and a counselor grade two, you'll notice the salary is the same. A chief counselor is a supervisory position, but the salary is the same. You have an opportunity to move on to a chief counselor grade two and there, thereafter your salary improves to 857,559. Your net salary per month is 39,953 and 44,592. As a deputy director counseling grade one and a deputy director psychometric service grade one, you earn 923,847 and your net per being 47,383 as a counselor grade two, it's 1,056,303 and your net salary being 52,961. Let's look at the psychologist now. You would have to work as an intern initially, the salary being 597,147. As this is a contract position, you do not have to belong to a pension fund. Therefore, you end up having a higher salary 
if you compare a counselor grade one with 597 because the money that you're putting into pension is now in your pocket. With a rural or inhospitable allowance, that is the bargaining chamber rural allowance of 12%, your salary is 39,211. With a rural allowance, if you work in an institute designated rural, your salary is 40,242. As a community service, your salary is 614,691. The net salary being 38,545. Your inhospitable net salary being 41,170 and your rural net salary is 42,263. Once you've completed your community service, you can take up a position as psychologist grade one and after eight years, you become a psychologist grade two and a further eight years at 16 years, a psychologist grade three. To take up a principal psychologist grade one post, you would need a minimum of three years of experience and you can take up this position as a supervisor. The chief psychologist grade one is also a supervisory position. Generally, I've seen in advertisements you would require a PhD and extensive experience to take up a position as a chief psychologist. So what are the salaries? As you can see, it ranges, your total cost to employer ranges from 713,361 to 966,039 rand. As a principal psychologist, this is a supervisory position, you, are, you earn a salary of 1,025,316. Your net salary being 51,656. And with an inhospitable allowance, it's 55,891. And with a rural allowance, it's 57,655. Principal psychologist grade two, is not a post that is advertised but is a progression so the, the grade one is advertised once you've got this you progress on to a grade two position similarly with the chief psychologist this position is advertised but this is a progressive po position and not necessarily an advertised post so let's compare the medical doctor and the psychologist salaries a psychologist who has completed a master's earns 579147 as an intern, whilst a medical doctor doing his intern earns 501489 As a psychologist community service, you earn 614691 as compared to a community service medical doctor who earns 666,090 rand. Psychologist grade one, grade two, and grade three earns less than a medical officer grade one, medical officer grade two, and a medical officer grade three. Here you'd need five years of experience before you move on to grade two. As a psychologist grade two, you need eight years of experience. The medical doctor as a clinical manager earns more than a principal psychologist. As a senior clinical manager, you earn 1,362,000, but a chief psychologist grade 1 and a chief psychologist grade 2 earns more than a senior clinical manager. A senior clinical manager does not require any further training, but generally with the chief psychologist, you would require a uh, PhD, as I've seen in many of the advertisements. Thank you for joining me today, looking at the salaries of registered counsellors, psychometrists and psychologists in South Africa. If you like what you heard, press the like button. If you want to hear more content of this nature, press the subscribe button. And if you're interested in finding out more about community service at KwaZulu Natal Prince Mishani Memorial Hospital, click on my video on the left. Thank you. See you soon.